So there's an incredible phenomenon that I want to bring to your attention, which is probably on your mind right now if you're thinking about being sober or you've been sober for a little while. It's this phenomenon of, I don't want the party to be over. That thought keeps so many people from ever getting sober and moving down this path of recovery. So I'm 31 years sober at this point in time, and I want to report to you that one of my biggest fears was that the party was over, that my life was over as I knew it, that I was going to have no more fun, wouldn't hang out with fun and creative people, and nothing has been further from the truth for me. Here's something about me that's really important to understand. I never liked to come down. When I was using drugs and alcohol, I never wanted to come down. I was the guy who wanted to keep going, keep pushing through the night. And I had incredible times, and I had unbelievably painful times. And toward the end of my using, the pain just became worse and worse. The consequences became greater and greater. And that party which I was gripped onto, that I wanted to hang on to for the rest of my life, became a really dark place to be. Really dark place to be. And so then I was in that dilemma place of, okay, I can't keep going like this, but I don't know what my life will be, and I don't want to become one of those people. I don't want to become a mediocre person. I don't want to become a normal person. I never wanted to be that either. So I had to figure out a way to live in recovery and yet still be creative, spontaneous, joyful, weird and wonderful, magical and mystical and all these things that are so important to somebody like me and probably important to somebody like you if you're anything like me. And so it's really a question of parsing out the parts of your life that don't serve you anymore and then really embracing and orienting your life towards all those things that you always wanted anyway. If you're at the point that I got to with drugs and alcohol, then they're not serving you. They're actually getting in the way of your creativity. They're getting in the way of your spontaneity. They're getting in the way of this wonderful life that you want to have. And so you put those down. And of course, there's a weird period in the middle where you're like, okay, I'm not the person I, I used to be. That was familiar. I don't know who I'm going to be yet. That's frightening to me. I'm in this unknown, weird place. You have to keep the faith for this period of time. Orient yourself to recovery. Orient yourself towards health and wellness. Orient yourself towards other people who are in recovery. You may not be your best self yet. You may not be clear on what you're doing. This, this recovery path may be confusing and, and difficult and, and unbelievably frightening. You may be up in the middle of the night thinking, what am I doing and not knowing where to go? Keep the faith. Hang in there during the transitional period. You're coming to a place where you're going to be connecting in a more authentic and powerful way with yourself so you can show up in a more authentic and powerful way in the world. I guarantee it's coming for you if you stay on this path. So hang in there. The party's not over. You were at, you know, in those last sort of months and years maybe, you're at a really shitty party that you, th you were just sort of thinking, well, this is kind of familiar. It used to be fun and, you know, it wasn't fun anymore. And now you're heading to the greatest party ever and the party is you, 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 you. So hang in there.